Good morning. We we'll bring you warm greetings from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, whose grace has always been sufficient for us and has also ushered us into the year 2024. <laughs> Benny television Semene wada swati ase na afimunu 365 days ako apro na ababa tu yenu ya dinya kesie enunti ewa semene wo ya da inyang kupono ase. Bibri na shushe saa kwenye anu nensu wenya nisa wuti ase ya ewa se wudana ase nisa nisa wae bibri na nedia mae. Afi 2023 ya ba wunche eno ube chadi suya udo bibri ya wujidi ese Ufa di suyen bi efi mo. Irade mko suyen shrao. Sa di suyen hudo ni asa baka fwa hudo e ba jume di iso. Iye ni wuko suwa che irade asem no. Ufa ye na wode e bo ubra. Weye nsema hudo a e be buwa wuma wunkwa jie a wushishe wu kristo mo no. Etu mi ewe peye. We are so grateful for always keeping us in your prayers. And also letting people know that we've always been coming your way. In fact, the Voice of the Church is a program which is being organized by the Churches of Christ. Church of Christ or Doko, Church of Christ at Sharibuchi, and Church of Christ at Gapito. We are so grateful for always joining us. Yes, I have a for me, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I have the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 2. Dia chi kase mu ye se breso sem e mwuma. Dia tosu miye nu. Etie ye du nu mke nkansu wa ye miye nu nu. 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 2. Do read. And he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Hear me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. The Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. We don't know. And come on. You pass here. You would die. You had to wash your hands. Here, after 2024, they say, "Ben Irade." Beloved, draw nearer or closer to your Maker. Be with the Lord in the year 2024. Safimu went to me and ye be 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 ampa at least she ben. Dia obo wano. Akwenjia wudo bebre na fi 2023 ufe mu. O hawo e sain amanye. Dia wandam po anye hon. Nenso eba ye no. Unyanko pon yi ufe mu. Dia nanke bro wadre ni wanti asi eso. Na ubi sese we meye ni dehen na ye ye. We ni ba on honsu ono. Na inkunimdiye aye wudia. The Lord has always been so good and so gracious to us. So as he has ushered us into the year 2024, I want to entreat you and also to encourage you that be with the Lord. And when you read the text in which we are at least using to admonish ourselves this morning, there are so many things that you need to know about what King Asa was told to do. And it is something that I think when you take into consideration, it will help you and help me as well. Now, in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15, when you continue to read from verse 1, there is a prophet by name Azariah. This is a prophet who met Asa when he was returning from war. And he gave him this piece of advice from the Lord God that Asa what you need to know and what you need to do is that the Lord is with you while you are with, with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. 
But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Now what is happening? Why is Azariah the prophet telling King Asa this message? What is going on? Now when you take your time to look at the background of our test this morning, one thing we need to understand is that Asa was a righteous king in Judah. That is the southern kingdom. When the kingdom was divided into two, we had the northern, which re uh, represent the ten tribes, and the southern kingdom, which also represented the two tribes, Judah and Benjamin. Now, he reigned for about 41 years and destroyed many adulterous altars throughout the kingdom of Judah and Benjamin because he was a righteous king. This is a king we are talking about. Now he built so many garrisons in Judah to, in order to help people worship God well. Though much of Asa's reign had been characterized by peace in the contest that is at hand, one thing we need to understand is that Asa was returning from a war in which Judah has been victorious because the Lord was with him. Now, you will never be able to say that 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 you will never be able to say that. Or here is Yeshua and Komobwa El Koso if it's chapter 14 no one is able to say that you will never be 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 able to say that yet was what at the end of his reign on the throne, Asa chose to rely on an hating king for a military support instead of God. Now, on any way, ni kudim dia udu ni ne muno. Afe ebedru baby a na ekubi ababe dene ni. But this time around, he thought say, oh, na say me to me nya on any bi emwa. I'm more than a a soldier for a baby boy me. I'm a me to me a kwa ko dim kunim without thinking the Lord has always been with him. I'm an irrefie. I say refreno. Ena ene me kai wo se me ma wa fishi a pay mono me chua dwe jina su se a fi 2024 mono be with the Lord me do fupa. Kai rade hon wati ana me rade kan wa bra bo hon. One moon to two with different will feel by it. While Brabba will be a seek the Lord. Now, the Baba, you are saying, Miss Anna, so now it's me a boy. Sadiano or Henny Asa, a year, you know, and a ma who did for a friend Isaiah, rather send ban in chance, call Nakokasa, a chair as I say. The Amira, they make her a detention. So what the prophet Isaiah said to Asa also applies to our relationship with God in the year 2024 and beyond. And number one thing is, the Lord is with you while you are with him. If you seek him, he will be found by you. Now if you forsake him, he will forsake you. These are three major conditions that Azariah placed before King Asa. But the point is, was King Asa able to admit his fault and acknowledge that the Lord is going to be with him and be victorious in everything that he does? So, we have to now the account of 2024. Beloved, I can assure you that your life will never be the same. So, on Sunday, you may just say, "In semi, no, we didn't say we are going to be able to be sober." I catch us after 2024. It will be the same. I beka, I beka. Me kai story biya. Me ni ni no na meta eti. So, Baba will be a we see so no. Ne youthful exuberance in tea, when any noun for four would draw a two and a month called near my or Barbara Bobiera or pay, ne Nije when you mopa. And at that crop, you be a school at all court school, no any noun for four, cow, mother, corner, more boy, you will make Nije, 
ena ne ma me ka chee ne se me ba kwa wu kwei ewrade nka wo ho na one wo nko abofra ne ka chee ne ma me se ka ni mu aye ma te ewrade nya bebia ntena na mu mbutu ho de se ho na obekwa akoshe de a obetumi akwa akoshe ho ena ma me ne de onim se de ne ba ne tie ntie oyi na adwen fi so o wa no nya ko se ka na ne ba no ene ne namfofo ne di code school eni gie ni ade ni nti ka no akohwe ase ebra ma me ne ko dru sin ni ho no o hwe niam akoso ne ma ne se ne mu eprepra ne namfofo ne bi kru efi mu wo niam ase de ka na sei but one fortunate or unfortunate incident a e see ya na e won won akakra ene se boot ho no empo na kosua e da boot ho dan su kosua na mbo e wona ma me ne ka se nti e bia ne ba ne ka se ewrade nya kwan wo ka yi mu ji boot ho no the lord indeed protected the boot and everything that was in it we ye estoria na meta etepa na me na me no so twa adwen de gina so sedia odifo azaria e tu ohene asafo no se be with the lord me do fopa me radin ka ho afi 2024 ma afi 2024 no enya bra ba wo bo a e ye de urade e kire wo se ye na me do fopa wo be ye now let us look at the conditions ah when you come on and nam odifu isaiah so edema ohene asa the lord is with you while you are with him this is a conditional statement and it is because it is a man who must adhere to the ways of god and follow his path god does not walk after the manner of men Onyankopon enyi de ni papa so ye no Onyankopon di ni pa ne chi na mum de Onyankopon pese ni pa ye no eni pa mum ne hwewrade na edi ewrade chi midofu pa so if you really want to be with the lord this year then be ready to be a disciplined person by following instructions by following rules and regulations of Onyankopon di amao enam nasem eso take your bible study so serious be a church person she say rade me rade nka wa bra bo no ho say say we are see ni gie any we are see afa fa de no me do for em fa won ko do be bibiara upon everything six feet at last when na fu fo be be ho they couldn't make it into 2024 but the rade ma wo wetu me ru 2024 ma it is a sign a e kasa e de kire wo say the lord has a lot of plans for you now plans any be ni say be with the lord this year and your life will be so good it is a man who departed from god and who then must be reconciled to god it is man who sinned and he parted ways with god because in isaiah 59 bible say nyankopon ni se nyetia enso oje na sumu nyedra ntie yasem ye boni na titi ye ni nyankopon tem so if I want to have a relationship with God, then I must stop sinning. Or say me treat me more free boni ho. The entity, the ancient pattern ina ano. I must depart from it. I must be with the Lord. I must be on the Lord's side. And when I am on the Lord's side, therefore none can stand against us. We are an assurance that when you come upon them, not them. So in the book of Romans, chapter eight, verse thirty-one, beloved. Pick your Bible and let's study the Word of God together. The book of Romans chapter 8, verse 31. It says, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? I see the Rebecca saying, I was in Sami Ewo. Say, Radi, I was here in Fan. Why in the big to me? I saw it here. If you commit your life, if you entrust yourself into the care of God, beloved, I can assure you, say, since he is the almighty, since he is the God of all, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, since he is omniscient, since he is omnipotent, since he is omnipresent in everywhere, God is going to protect you, beloved. Entrust yourself into the Lord, and the Lord will be with you. So, nyanko point in si dainoa, 
And to just say, build the foundation, no, I will ye ready, Jesus Christ, so. That is the life, all that we need to do in order for the year 2024 and beyond to be a success for us. God gave Asa an army that helped him to be victorious over so many battles in which he won. But one thing we need to understand is that as Christians, the Lord has always been with us. Sometimes some things do happen in a way that we know these things are beyond our might. But the Lord comes in and delivers us from all that we cannot even do. Upon the Lord doing everything for us, do we still obey his word or we go contrary against his word? There are some with whom God has never been. And that is, God will root up every false religion. Adibiera enye rade na di aba no. Bible say obetu efri ho. Ebiebiera enye rade ene dua ye no obetu. So let the root be in the Lord. Be with the Lord in the year 2024. Eno na be boa wo ama wana mu tutuo wadwuma wo pese wo ye wa wawe wo pese wo ye wa awawe mu nsensem ye funu wo anwa ye din de ama wo no be for for re she urade mu atia na oso fo bia ntumi mu awo asori be bia ntumi mu awo nipa bia ntumi mu awo nipa be di ohwamo be urade de o se sa wo hwehwe no o be mu wo hunu no nti wa check your life na wo name no have you really search for the lord and whenever you began to search him, is he available for you to find him? It is something we need to understand. God is not with false prophets. God is not with false teachers. God is not with false preachers. But God is with those who diligently seek him. So be with the Lord. Me radin kawo ho abra boni mo me radin ni wanim jume di eni ni na me radin tutu anamo nci ye na no be boa o amade o se wuye biara wetu mia ye the second condition is say if you seek him he will be found by you so o se she no a o se obe ma wo wenhuno this phrase offers hope and comfort. So what tie in some year, Nyanko Ponam, Udi for Azaria, so a catcher as a year. Or say, Sir, what you shall me? Remember, won't who me? That means, Mamma Winnie, that's so be. We rebel now, who are Mamma, why wretched in some way, a radiant sem. If only you can trust in the Lord and obey what He is telling you to do, beloved, I can assure you that 2024 will be a year with good message, will be a year of good news, it will be a year of prosperity, it will be a year that we will see the grace of the Lord upon our life when we seek Him. He will be found by us. This is one thing that we need to know. Now, when Jesus was on earth, He made this promise to his followers that we should seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. That is Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. The amazing part of it is that all other things will be added unto you. This is the message that the Lord is indeed entrusted in our care. Therefore, so ube to me ajeradia semye dia. Ebetu mi abua wa ma hoto so, ebetu mi abua mo weni a wodi tu awrade so no, etumi ayeye e de amen. All men can find God. Though not all men, but all who are ready and willing. Obi bia wa ya crado, na opese ohunu no, awrade ba no kwa man hunu. If you are ready today and you really want to know God, if you are not a Christian, I can at least recommend Christ unto you that accept Christ Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior by hearing the gospel, believing, repenting, confessing Christ Jesus, and being baptized into the Lord. That is the way you can know Him. 
That is the way his grace can be sufficient for you. That is the way that his blood that he shed on the cross can be an atonement for your sin that you may be saved. If you seek him, beloved, he will be found by you. Finding God, though, is conditional. That we must all understand. You remember, all the statement begins with if. And if is a conditional statement, which indicates that if we do not do it, then we cannot receive it. Work and I will pay you. If you do not work, you cannot be paid. If we do not see God, we will not find him. If we do not see God in the right place, if it is not according to what the Bible is indeed teaching us, then you should know, you should know that at least you will not find the Lord. If it is according to human doctrines, if it is according to human institutions, if it is according to man-made religion, then you should know that you cannot find the Lord in wrong places. So this you must bear in mind. But if you forsake him, this is the third condition that I want you to take note of. If you forsake him, he will forsake you. This is a plain statement that we need to understand. God turns his back on those who turn their back on him. If you don't want to be with the Lord, then the Lord would also not be with you. This is a statement that you must at least add it onto your life in the year 2024 and beyond. Therefore, the radiation is a tremendous Namjiri sa nube to mia bwao, and nube to mia kawho, ama de was ye ye biara, e to me a ye ye ewo abrabo biara ye bomu. God has turned away from many people who are not ready and willing to be with him. He turned away from the Jewish nation of Israel and Judah, sending them into their respective captivity when they also rejected and decided not to abide in the laws of God. When God made a covenant with them on Mount Sinai, ever since they began to go contrary against what God has entrusted them to do, the Lord also departed from them. So when you do not seek the Lord and you intend to forsake him in the year 2024, he will also forsake you. Beloved, you cannot be with the Lord when you begin to live your life haphazardly. You cannot be with the Lord when you are not obedient to whatever that he teaches or he tells you to do. God turned from numerous individuals whose name appear throughout the Bible. Saul was a king that God anointed him to rule over Israel. He was the first king. This is something which was supposed to be a good thing for Saul. But when he disobeyed God, God also rejected him. This has always been the principle of God. So if you do not seek the Lord and you intend to forsake him in the year 2024, there are some today who have also turned away from the laws of God. When we read the book of Colossians chapter 2, there is a passage there I want you to take note of so that it will help you and also help me do things that will be in the right manner. In verse 23 of the book of Colossians chapter 2, he says, These things indeed have an appearance of wisdom in self-imposed religion, false humility, and neglect of the body but are of no value against the indulgence of the flesh. There are some people who are always indulging themselves in material things which they think is wisdom. But in one way or the other, the Bible is calling it to be a self-imposed religion. It is a matter of false humility. It is something that is not going to yield any good results for you. This year, in the year 2024, there's so many hope ahead of you. Our life is like a blank page. Now, whatever that you are going to do this year is going to fill that page. So do good things. And I tell you, good things will reciprocate back to you. This is the laws of nature. You reap whatever that you sow. 
So when you are with the Lord, the Lord will also be with you. Emma Afishapa, you will just say a fee, a bad boy, not boy me, a wa braye to two ya namo, a si irade a demo. A wa braye me radia tre a crying, na a crying no, a boy, na a boy me, na ma yenino and anti ye. We do not have a right to ask God in prayer all that we think that will be for us. But in all things, you know, you say, Radi pe and your home for my. So I feel 2024, no, the Bible show won't cry, the Becassa chair will say, Be with the Lord. May Radi pe and your home and for my. Now, no Babwao, I'm a woo, why you be a woo, you be a ra, it to me, a we pay. To an amount of cost, church of Christ, be a ra, Benwo, church of Christ, a shall be treated, church of Christ, or doko, and the church of Christ, a gap it up. Fire number, I was screwing it so. Now, Freya, you better do so. Yen and I are boom, he didn't come on. Eradi Shrow, a more official pa, you better say she'll be. If we really mean business, let us all go back to the Bible, and the Lord will show us His way. As we see that our biggest enemy has been sin. The radia some actually are doing the just to say Christ is our Lord and our Savior. He is the only person that can redeem us back to God. If only you want to be reconciled to God, Christ is the solution. I'm telling you that the Bible says, Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. And therefore, if you think that you are going to scot free because you have not been arrested, beloved, it is only a matter of time. Sin is the only thing that can remove you from heaven and place you in hell. But ni eno peni adi ba kuwa ebe chumi you are free onyango kwa hini nimo na ni wakobo nsama hini nimo. Watch Voice of the Church this and every Saturday at 6 a.m. on HSTV. From victory unto victory, his army shall he lead.